Uh, let's talk, uh, spend a few minutes talking about uh, Jamal Khashoggi. For a while I thought you said Jamal Crawford. I was like, we're going to talk <laughs> NBA? I'm down. <laughs> I had a few ones for that one. Okay, who's that? Hey, Jamal Crawford, damn. That was the old days. Yeah. Oh, he ain't what he, he ain't what he used to be. No. <laughs> Isn't he like on ESPN now? I don't know. I haven't seen Did him. Did he become one of those? He probably will be. I think his. I think he played last season though. If, what? Yeah, I think he, he's he's coming off the bench though, like like eight or nine. You I know. mean, how many years has been in the league? Probably like sixteen, seventeen. That's up there. Go Jamal. Yeah, yeah, he probably be a newscaster one day. Oh, by far. Jamal Khashoggi, different dude. This is a Saudi guy that's been killed. Have you heard about uh, this? No. You ever heard about this? Mm-mm. It's been on the front page of a lot listen, of papers. I don't watch the news. Too. Oh, for real? <laughs> I should. Well, I mean, sometimes the news is painful, man. No, the news sucks, man. You're smart to not (laughs) watch it. This dude, so here's the story, right? This guy uh, left Saudi Arabia. He was was tight. He was in the inner circle with the king of Saudi Arabia Mm -hmm. and the crown prince. This guy named Mohammed bin Salman, a.k.a. MBS. Mm -hmm. All right, MBS is this new 33-year-old crown prince. He's basically the ruling leader, the kind of like the king of Saudi. All right, and this guy um, had Jamal in his inner circle, and I think there was some beef, and things were not working out well for some reason. So Jamal ran for the hills. He left the royal court and just went to America, and he got he got citizenship. Lived in Virginia, started writing for the Washington Post, became a newspaper uh, columnist. Jamal um, is in Istanbul, and so so. MBS was not happy because Jamal was writing a lot of bad stuff about Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. And MBS, this crown prince, started putting, like, threats out on Jamal's family in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. And Jamal's like, oh, shit. Like, I got to be careful what I write about. But he wasn't. He kept writing about bad stuff about MBS in the Washington Post. Mm -hmm. Jamal goes to Istanbul a couple weeks ago. Oh, wow. To go pick up a, uh, a certificate from the Istanbul, the, the Saudi embassy in Istanbul. And uh, after he walks in, cameras show 15 Saudi dudes with a bone saw walking in behind him. Shortly thereafter, Istanbul, Turkey cameras show a dude, not Jamal Khashoggi, walking out, wearing all Jamal Khashoggi's clothes. Mm. A body double. Yeah. And then the 15 dudes walking out later. And the, 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 what Turkey's saying is they have evidence to prove that the Saudis put a hit out on this guy and dismembered this guy limb by limb and killed him. Well, that, I, that's what happened. Well, I would say this. If this is what politics is about, I definitely would watch this shit. This shit. You this definitely sound, what? I would definitely watch this yeah. shit. This sounds like some Game of Thrones type stuff right here. It's, to, it's totally Game of Thrones type of shit. <laughs> totally. Totally. It's exactly what it is, man. You know, don't don't mess with the Lannisters. I don't even know what that is. Are we are they gang banging in politics right now? They've been gang banging in politics. No one just knows about it. Trump is the first to be like, I just say it. Uh, so he, so let's get into the business part of it, right? Yeah. So okay, so Jamal may he rest in peace if he is dead. You know, let's just say a quick prayer for him. Um, but but on the business side, like like the why would the prince like do this? Like like it's it's dumb. He's just dumb. Mm -hmm. And and Trump's reaction is also just zonky. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, like when when it became clear that the prince kind of put this hit out, the whole world was like, what the hell? Like, a leader of a country murdered someone? Like, this guy needs to go to jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that ain't cool. How long ago was this? Two weeks. Oh, wow. This is fairly recent. Just happened. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, So, everyone's like, to the... To Saudi, like, yo, you need to get rid of your prince. Like, this guy's not safe. Mm-hmm. You know, they had a, a financial investment conference the week after this guy was killed. It's actually going on right now. And uh, it's kind of like Comic-Con, but for finance in Saudi. And so, uh, they, they uh, they're, so many people have canceled, like, big name people, like, um, you know, the Treasury Secretary of the U.S. finally canceled. The, the, they're all afraid to get hit. I would be afraid, but yeah. like, who wants to do business with Saudi? Like, it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? But yeah, I wouldn't want to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Would you go? No. I would not go. And so, um, so everyone looked at President Trump and like, what you going to do about this? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you're, you're the ruler of the free world. What you going to do about this? 
And he's like, uh, well, we don't know if he really did it. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just bought $125 billion worth of military equipment from us, uh, mm-hmm. which they haven't paid for yet. So, um, yeah, we're going to wait to see what, what happens if he really did it or not. It's like, what? Like, it's pretty clear who did it, man. Like, there's camera footage and there's audio and all this other stuff. And so he's like, yeah, no. There's audio of what? I know. I mean, I know it's audio of him being murdered. I believe that's right. I actually haven't heard that audio. Oh, so what is the audio of? Well, Turkey's saying they have the audio. I don't know if they've released it yet. Mm-hmm. But they have released many videos showing the guy walking in, but someone else walking out. And then his wife is Who owned that video? Like, didn't the Saudi yeah. embassy own that video? In which case, they should have destroyed it. Yeah, that's a great so. point. Although, Turkey is kind of like an authorita- authoritative state. They kind of have cameras everywhere in the country. So if you're in Istanbul, like the, the heart of the country, like the big city, I think there's cameras. You don't miss it. They got cameras everywhere. So my guess is like they have cameras outside the the, the embassy on Turkish property, not on the Saudi property. So it's probably like, you know, right there, out there, and the properties over here. So I think that that's, yeah. So I don't know what the audio is and what the evidence is, but but basically – Turkey has been like drip, 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 releasing evidence every day. And it just seems pretty clear. Like this guy went into the Saudi embassy and didn't walk out. Mm-hmm. And there's 15 dudes that walk in with a bone saw. And every time they What's ask. a bone saw? Is it like. It's a saw that allows you to saw through bone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That's awful. <laughs> Did he look behind himself? Did he look back one time? Did uh, he look? Did he see him coming? I mean, I think he walked in, and once he was in, he, the 15 dudes walked in. Well, his <sighs> wife was waiting in the car for him. Yeah, outside, right? That's just, that's, that's, I'm, I, I, that's, hey, honey, awful. I'm going to run into the embassy real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, grab my certificate. Leave the car running. Grab my birth certificate. Instead and then of, some, <laughs> then some fake dude came back. That's really funny. You think he tried to make his move on his wife real quick? <laughs> Yeah, honey. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, they act weird in there, but let's go. Let's go to the hotel real quick. Yeah, <laughs> I got. I got the birth certificate. Who are you? Don't worry about. I'm that. your husband. <laughs> oh, you know, stop playing, honey. You know who I am. You know who I am. <laughs> I know you like to role play. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm wearing his clothes. <laughs> the the blood stains in front of my. I cut myself shaving this morning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You remember that? I was just using that Mach Three new battery powered fusion razor. Yeah, 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 yeah. And after we get done, fifteen of my friends gonna come. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fifteen of them. Just, we all just want to have a good time tonight. <laughs> uh, break out that hookah. Yeah. Oh man. So you know. May he rest in peace. I believe he's dead. All evidence points. And every time they ask Saudi, like, what happened to the guy? They're like, we don't know. He was in your embassy. What do you mean you don't know? Like, yeah, that's that's my question. The embassy, that's like neutral ground, isn't it? For everybody. Uh, t- no? Technically, as I understand it, it's owned by the Saudi government. Okay. So, like, that piece of land in, in Turkey is actually Saudi land. Oh. Uh, that's how it works. Okay. So, it's not necessarily neutral, actually. Okay. Wouldn't you agree, Chris? Yeah, it's like sovereign land. It's considered part of Saudi Arabia. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, yeah. That's awful. So, you know, all these people canceling from this business initiative, because Saudi is trying to get off of their dependence of selling oil. Mm -hmm. They're trying to become more of like a real country. Mm -hmm. And, like, this this is like, this, like, totally shot themselves in the foot. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy's been on a hit. Like, all year long, he's been, like, quieting dissidents. He's been, like, putting people in jail that talk up against the government. Mm-hmm. And this guy, he really, I mean, this guy, he really did a number on him. Um, and then Trump is like, yeah, we, we got to sell the military. So, like, look, look, I'm not going to say Barack or Ronald Reagan or George Bush are good people necessarily. Mm-hmm. Like, politics, like you said, man, it's Game of Thrones shit, mm-hmm. right? It really is, man. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to say, like, oh, Trump's much worse than them. No, they're probably shady dudes, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, they care about a $100 billion deal. Mm-hmm. But at least they'd be like, yo, we need to at least, like, Acknowledge like, it. Yeah, like, like, let's at least be kind of human on TV. Mm-hmm. But in the Oval Office, we'll be like, okay, a uh, $100 billion deal. Yeah, we, we got to still work this deal out with Saudi. So just, you know, kind of, just kind of like, you know, wink at them a little bit and we'll still do the deal. Mm-hmm. But on, on, on TV, you got to say like, no, we, we, we are against this. We're against killing people, murdering people. We're, this is not American values. Mm-hmm. But no, he was like, we gotta make this. We gotta cut this deal. I don't know if he did or not. We gotta cut this deal. Oh, did he say that? Oh, yeah. I, oh, okay. Trump said that. And so I was like, "Yo, man, this guy, business and money above everything else." Mm-hmm. And it's like, man, that 
Like, wh- where is my country going? This is my country. It's Amr Abdullah's country. Where the <laughs> f- is it going? Uh, to the ground. Or maybe just having a low. And then it'll come back up like the stocks, you know? Man, this guy, is just, he just keeps pulling that rubber band tighter and shooting more heroin up into his arm, <laughs> into our, our arm. You're right, man. You're right. So, you know, that's just a... Retouching on this Jamal Khashoggi thing, man. Uh, it's just brought, been sad, brought, brought a lot of sadness in my heart, and just like sad, not just for this man, this human being, and his family, but sad for our country, uh-huh. you know. And I hope you're right, man. I hope it's a low. But the truth be told, man, like I don't know. Do you, do you respect Congress much anymore in the last decade or two? I've never respected Congress, but right, dude. There was a time before you were born where I where we did respect Congress. It's like, man, that's like, and the Supreme Court, like we're all losing respect for the Supreme Court. Like that used to be like. The shit, like the mm. institution, you can't break it. Mm. The presidency, obviously, that's been a, that's a joke. We no one respects the presidency anymore. So it's like, what do we what do we respect now? You know, mm. I will say I'm proud that these business people backed out of this conference in Saudi after mm. they heard about this. So they're actually carrying some of the American value. The I mean, pe- are they can or just worried about themselves? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't think Saudi would put it would actually kill yeah. those people because yeah. they're not okay, right? They're not speaking bad about Saudi. Mm. But I think what they're, the message is like, like Jamie Dimon is the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. He he's like I'm out. Uh, Larry Fink is the CEO of BlackRock, is p- the biggest money manager, the biggest investment manager. He's like I'm out. And then um, there was a third guy, Stephen Schwarzman, uh, another big finance guy on Wall Street. He's like I'm out. So you know they they actually walked and they're like they're like screw this. We don't want to do business with people who who do this kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. You know that's kind of what what. The better part of the story is is that the business owners at least are carrying out some of the American values that that I believe there in. there would be repercussions for the business owners going to that I feel whereas Trump for whatever reason can do whatever he wants and there's no repercussions ever. You're saying like those guy those business owners those Wall Street guys would have had consequences that might have hurt their businesses yeah. if they went. Mm-hmm. I got you. And Trump he has no consequences. The president has no consequences. That's crazy. I want to live that type of life. All the power, no consequences. That's crazy. Remember Uncle uh, Ben said something in Spider-Man, like, with great power comes great responsibility? Yeah, not, not for Trump. <laughs> How is that possible? It is what it is. It is what it is.